This is a video by Richpin. Uh, I just got this request from one of my loyal YouTubers, and they would like me to run through the basics of a multimeter. So here we go. Now what I got here is I have a manual ranging meter as opposed to an auto ranging meter. This one right here you have to select what range it is on the meter. A little bit more difficult to use but uh, nonetheless it's uh, pretty easy once you get used to it. Now what we have on our scale here is we have voltage AC right here we have the 750 200 scale and right down here we have amperage DC over here we have the ohms scale area and finally our voltage DC now the first test we're going to do is we're going to check this automobile 12 volt battery right here so that is voltage DC right there so we want to move our lever to DC voltage and on this one we're going to go to the 20 scale because this being a 12 volt battery won't go much beyond say 14 volts now on your multimeter you'll have two leads the black lead will go to the negative and the red will go to the positive. And once we put it on the battery we can read the voltage and in this case we have 12.59 volts. So that's all there is to using the voltage DC scale. Now the next thing we can do is we can check voltage AC from a normal wall outlet and that should be around uh, 115 volts so what we'll do is we'll move it to the 200 scale volts AC. Alright make sure it's on AC. We'll put one probe in here one probe in the other side and there we go these leads are a little bit short so we're reading 119 volts AC so that's all you have to do to check your household voltage. Make sure, make sure it's on the voltage AC scale before you do that though. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check the resistance of a spark plug wire. Now to do that we need to go to the ohm scale. I'm going to go to the 2000 scale but I know that this particular wire that I got here is going to be about 5 six or seven thousand ohms. I want to show you what happens if you select the wrong um, selection on the meter. Alright, we're going to go put one end of our lead to one end of the spark plug and we'll put our other end there. Okay, now you can see that it's reading one which means that we are off the scale the reading is beyond what the meter can do. So what we're going to do is going to go up one more. You can, see, you can see it's on 2,000. We're going to go to 20,000 and we should get a reading. Yeah. This wire is reading around 4,000 ohms. So if you operate your meter and you see that one, just go up to the next highest reading. Now the next thing we can check with our meter is one of these. It's a diode. Now what a diode is, it's uh, basically a gate. It lets voltage go through one way, but it will not let it 
go back the same way. So we're going to take the meter, go down here to the symbol that shows the diode right there at 2000. And we'll take one end of the lead and take the other end. All right, now what you want to do is look at the meter and right now it shows one on the meter. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the leads off and we're going to flip it over like that. And we should see a different reading when we do that. There. That is a good diode. Now, if it was any number other than what you saw, if both of them read 1, well then it would be open. And that would be no good. So that's how you check a diode. Next thing we can check is continuity. In this case, we're going to be checking a ordinary headlight bulb and see if it's good. We want to see if continuity is going all the way through the bulb. So we need to set the meter on the ohm scale. We're going to go down to 2000. And we'll take our clips, clip it to one of the pins, and then we'll take the other one, clip it to the other pin inside the headlight bulb, and there we go. This one right here is a good working headlight bulb. You can see the meter went zero, 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 so we have continuity all the way through the bulb. So that's a good one. That's how you do your continuity test. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to check amperage. How much amperage a particular item is drawing. So what we have to do is take this red lead out of this side and move it over to this one right here that says 10 amps max. Now if your meter doesn't have this you cannot do this test. Then we move our scale down to 10 amps DC. Alright, now I've got one lead clipped into the headlight bulb right here. We're on the positive. Here is the other end of that wire to the positive side of the battery. And we're going to take the other end of the meter, put that to the other pin inside, just like that. Now, I'm going to take the negative lead of the meter and put that to the negative lead of the battery. Can you see that? It's drawing 4.85 amps. That's how. Now you could do the same thing to a a motor. I've done this to uh, blower motors. Check the how much amperage a blower motor uses. I know there's a lot more uses of the multimeter, but hopefully I've covered the basics today.